Okay, so this is the 24 to 48 hour period between, well, since I've had my hairpiece on. It seems fine. I wore it all day today. I did fencing. This is an interesting thing. Today, I went fencing with my class. You know, sword fighting. We we're building fences. Um, and you have to wear this mask. Put it down on your head, right? Now, this, I was sweating so much. Like, I, I, I was just like water. Like somebody poured a bucket of water over my head. I'm a big sweater. I looked at everyone else. They had a little bit of sweat around the front. But I was sweating. Like, from what I've heard from that white glue, uh, in that situation, apparently it turns white and dribbles down from, like, it would have come underneath the hairpiece. Thank God I didn't have that shit on. You need acrylic, I swear to God. Okay, so, yeah, that did not stop the hold of this. I was worried about it, but I didn't want to go like this in front of people or anything like that, so I just dealt with it. I, I just kind of... Oh, I was, I don't know how clip this microphone is doing with the holes blocked there. Yeah, so that was crazy. And then, not only that, with the full head of sweaty, fucking shiny hair, we go in, and today for the first time, they've set up halogen lights. Big, blasting, like this furnace of the sun, straight onto my forehead, right above my head, going, right? So, what do you do in that situation? You just. <laughs> Act. Say your fucking lines. So I just did it. We watched it back. Uh, on the television screen, I'm thinking when I watch this back, I'm just gonna see this plastic fucking line that's lifted after all that sweating and all that stuff. And we went a big walk. Um, and the room was really hot as well that we were performing in. Uh, but you couldn't tell. I couldn't tell, they couldn't tell, nobody commented on it. I don't know if they're whispering to each other about what's going on. Bald, hairpiece, I don't know. Might have, I don't think so. I think it all worked out. I think that very sweaty hair day, like this was, like if you worried about a motorcycle helmet, don't worry about that. Worry about wearing a fencing mask while you're working out and running back and forth after you haven't exercised for fucking 10 years. Worry about that in a group of people and you're gonna take your helmet off and bow, like, phew, here's the top of my head, motherfucker. All right, and all that sort of stuff, and change partner, change partner, change partner, go. Touche, on guard, whatever, right? And yeah, that, I don't think there could have been a better test, and I got this fucking poly on in the nick of time, because if I'd still had lace at that point, the shine would have been unbelievable. The sweat and the shine, and the hair sticking down into that fucking moisture. There's just no way. But I just came, it came through, and I just, I just put some more hair gel and stuff in it because my hair was all disheveled and stuff like everybody else's, I guess. But mine wasn't as disheveled as everyone else's probably because mine was worn back. So what can really happen in that situation? It just sticks down more. But onto the poly, which means it's not sticking down more, is it? It's not, nothing's happening. It's fine. So I probably looked ugly, and my hair was probably in a bad way, a probably bad haircut kind of way, but no real problems really. So, I'm extremely happy, given these extreme circumstances, and public circumstances, and high, bright light filming onto the top of my forehead, with a camera facing right in close up of my face, right? And I'm looking into this girl's eyes and stuff, she can see me. I was nervous. I had to hide it, no, I think of my story and stuff. But, you know thinking about that, I was paranoid about it, but uh, poly is the answer. And, and doing this front hairline, dyeing it, that was the answer too. So I'd recommend anyone's using lace at the moment, if they're ever gonna do any physical activity, wear a hat, a helmet, um, if, they're, if they're constantly doing touch-ups in the morning when they come out of, off the pillow, out of the shower, sweat, dive into a pool, Go skydiving. Polly's the only end. Polly's the only way. And with this bleaching system, like at the front, just bleaching it yourself, because they're not going to know exactly where you've cut it, so they wouldn't bleach it exactly there. If they bleached it all the way through at that uh, at that altitude, you know, up to about a centimeter, and so it just fades into you, that's whatever hair color you've got. Then it might be the best way to, for them to make it. So we just cut it to our size at home. 
aside from that, just do that bit of yourself on a, an existing 0.03 millimeter poly unit. Uh, like I told you before, there was a bit of shine showing there, but only when I was right up close to a mirror. So that girl might have seen it, like the shine from the bright light into her eyes, but the camera didn't pick it up. Maybe not a very high definition camera, because a very high definition camera would have gone straight into there, would have seen it. That's why I use my camera and I go straight in there so you can see the worst possible case scenario. But from a real life perspective with people's eyeballs looking at things, I don't think it's really a massive risk. When we look under the lights in front of a bathroom mirror, we are seriously looking at like the extreme close up of ourselves, almost to the level of like, oh my God, this poor, the pores in, in my nose, they are really dark and black and they're disgusting, right? My face and your face are covered in millions of micro uh, bacteria and then creatures, little spiders and things, little bugs all over our body. Like the, the weight of the bugs in our body weighs as much as our brains. That's it. I'm thinking about writing a movie about it uh, called Bug Patrol. So there'd be an animation. So this is this is 48 hours almost. This is like, sorry, 44 hours I guess at this point. I once again I'm reiterating what I've said earlier. Poly is the answer. Get it.